Hello there, new video about editing, but first I want to thank all the people that bought my new Lightroom course recently, been receiving some very nice reviews as well, so that's very nice to hear that so many people are enjoying this new course. Anyway, this video is also about editing and uh, well, you know, in my course I talk a lot about selecting subjects and selecting parts of your photo because selections are very powerful, especially if you can make very accurate selections. It helps you by making the subject a little bit brighter, making certain elements pop. You're basically working all the time with selections when you're editing photos. Again, in my course, I explain so many techniques in Lightroom on how to select certain parts of your photos. But this video is about something a little bit different. It goes one step further because Photoshop has a kind of new, sometimes a little bit hidden feature that uh, can save you a lot of time and a very powerful subject selection tool. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So let's go. All right, so let's immediately dive into Lightroom first. And from Lightroom, we will go into Photoshop and I'm going to explain you this technique. But first, let's go into Lightroom here. I have three images that I want to show you. And uh, here we are in the develop module in Lightroom. And here we have a picture first of this uh, Highlander cow here. And uh, if we wanna maybe brighten up the cow a bit or darken the background or separate the cow a bit from the background, uh, we will want to select the cow. So often what we can do in Lightroom, we can press M here, the masking panel pops up and we can say here, create new mask, select subject. Now what happens is Lightroom will try to select the subject, but you know, often it does actually a pretty decent job. You see these edges are pretty good, but it doesn't really detect the horn. So, you know, it's not perfect. So what you can actually do, you have to, you know, refine the selection. So I can press add, maybe select objects and I can make this brush a little bit smaller and maybe select here the horns. This one, you see, pretty good. And then I can select select object again here. And actually the selection is good, like that, you see? So I have to do a few things. Uh, select subject is not perfect, then I do select object, I add those to the selection, and the selection is pretty good, yeah? Now I can work on the cow, I can brighten it, or I can, you know, uh, invert this selection, um, work on the background, stuff like that. So, so this, this, this selection, pretty decent in Lightroom, not that hard, but the subject selection, it doesn't detect it perfect. And that is often the case in Lightroom. So if we look at this photo, for example, here with those horses shot a few weeks ago in Camargue, absolutely beautiful. They're uh, running here through the water and you can already see this is definitely a more complex photo, right? I mean, here we have a lot of splashes, a lot of different horses, a complicated background as well. So let's try, press M here, uh, create new mask, select subject. Let's see what it does. And actually it does a decent job, not so bad. You see it also selects the tree here. It's not perfect. Let's increase the exposure a bit, but it's not bad as well. You see, it's pretty decent actually. But again, it's not perfect. This is often the case with Lightroom. In most, um, most cases, actually, you can perfectly fine use this selection. It's not bad at all, even the, the little hairs here. So let's just, um, let's zoom in a bit here. Even the little hairs here is pretty good. If we boost that all the way, the selections are good, but again, it's selecting here some this tree and stuff. So we have to work also this part here. It's not not the best, you see that? So it's not, not perfect, but again, it's not bad at all. Okay, so let's go to the next image here. Pretty simple landscape of this tree here and Lightroom subject selection, strangely enough, doesn't work that well on, on this kind of images with a lot of branches and stuff like that. Usually, let's try it, select subject, yeah, you see it's kind of weird. And if you here press select object, you kind of go over the tree. 
yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult with all these branches. Yeah, decent, but yeah, not all of them. So quite some work. Now let's try, for example, select sky. That looks very good to me, the sky. If I invert this mask, for example, that's actually perfect. So yeah, you, there's definitely some tricks in Lightroom that you can do to create these masks. But anyway, now let me show you the technique in Photoshop where you can often have an almost perfect subject selection. Okay, so let's start with the first image again here. You saw that the horns were not uh, being selected properly by Lightroom. So let's go into Photoshop with this image. Right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. And here we have the image in Photoshop and then we can press select subject. But uh, now my settings are already correct. But if you haven't done this, your settings in Photoshop will be with the old subject selection tool. And what you have to do, you have to go to Photoshop settings and let's go to general here. And we can go here to image processing in the settings in Photoshop. And my subject selection and remove background tool is selected to cloud. And this is very important. So normally it's selected to device, okay? Quicker results. Um, when you select it to cloud, it also says detailed results. So we click here, we select cloud, we press OK, and now it works. Okay, so now when we press select subject here, look at that. It is going to work a little bit. And look at that. The horns perfectly selected with just one click. Let's make a channel out of that. Select it perfect selection of the pool, just one click, is actually incredible. So let's go back to the old one. So let's go into settings here, general, uh, image processing, set this to device. This is the normal one. Let me actually just duplicate this uh, layer, select subject. And there you go, it, it doesn't work on the horns, okay? So this is a similar selection that we had in Lightroom. So this is the old one, the old method, and this is the new method. And look at the difference here. This is so much more detailed and better, yeah? So this cloud subject selection tool, absolutely game changer for selections of your subject. So let me show you also here um, with the other images. So let's open this one, edit in, edit in Photoshop. Wait a minute, all right, so here we are in Photoshop. Then again, select subject and remember, it's set to the old one now, yeah? So we have this one. Okay, channels, let's open it up, let's save it. And actually, not so bad, not so bad, but it's not selecting that tree here now, it's not so bad, but yeah, it's also not perfect. You can see, yeah, it's not, not great, so Let's try it with the new one. So again, Photoshop, settings, general here, image processing, and set it to cloud. So I'm just gonna go back and forth now to show you, but I would recommend just keep this on cloud and then always your subject selection will be great. So, okay, let's quickly duplicate this layer and then select here, subject. Okay, wait a little bit. Wait a little bit, okay, all right. So let's save that selection as well. So this is the new selection. And look how much more detailed that is with the, the hairs and everything. And look, at, look at the detail here. And then here's the old one. So this is the old one. <laughs> look at that, look at the difference. The new one the, the, the is so much better, so much better. So absolutely great subject selection to almost perfect selection of those all, all of those horses. That's really incredible. Now let me show you the last one here. Let's go back into Lightroom, select this one, edit in, edit in Photoshop. Okay, we are in Photoshop here. And uh, well, let's go just right into it, select subject. We still have the new one selected, the, the cloud-based subject selection tool. So let's wait one second. All right, channels, 
make the channel and boom, look at that. Incredible selection with one click. Even the other trees have incredible selections around them. So yeah, absolutely great new subject selection tool in Photoshop. Definitely use it if you have trouble selecting your subject. Otherwise, most of the things you can actually do in Lightroom. Be sure to check out my course if you wanna learn much more about that. Um, if you have questions, put them in the comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna get more tips like this, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.